Super Bowl family for the survival of the fittest league. Welcome everybody to Snipes TV Gaming. I am your boy Snipes and we got Gino and the 11 and 6 Commanders taking on Bones and the 14 and 3 Dolphins here on Snipes TV Gaming. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in as this should definitely be a banger, uh, no doubt. And look, this is the first time that we have actually seen the survival of the fittest league in here. So I'm intrigued to see what these guys are talking about and what we're going to see within this bowl. I don't know anything about Gino or Bones. So that's the great thing about actually having a game like this here. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So I need to do something here really quick. And then we're going to go ahead and get this train rolling because get hyped when you talk about games like this man like I, I i get so pumped with games like this man i really do I, I enjoy games like this for the simple fact well a couple reasons a couple reasons number one it's always great to have a new league you know what i mean obviously we're, we're about to end the madden cycle real soon with a lot of leagues and everything else and and um we're getting ready to hit the slow time just for a moment because we got college coming out real soon and then madden's dropping a month after that so it's gonna be crazy uh but to see new leagues and to see what's gonna possibly transpire is trans uh, you know transpire with with new leagues going into the 25 season is something that i always look forward to all right so we're gonna see what's gonna happen throughout this game uh and 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 who is gonna be the the, the, the business i guess we, we can call it here all right I guess we could call it the business. So, look, uh, we got some followers and everything. Big shout out to everybody that came through and and has um has followed us here on Snipes TV Gaming. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys here as we hit the we're getting ready to hit the stage for this game. Let me know in the chat who you think is going to win this game. I'm very curious because some of you guys are a part of this league, so you'll know better than I do. Okay. You'll know way better than I would. So let me know who you think is going to win it and why, and we'll keep it pushing, man. But again, appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm going to tell these guys uh, to go ahead and, and start this game up. Give me one moment. The one thing I do know about these guys, um, let me tell them to start up, and then we can get rolling. All right. So the one thing I do know about these guys is that they did play, if I'm not mistaken, in Week 13 with the Dolphins getting the win in Week 13. Uh, so we're going to see. We're going to see. I see King Louie in the building. He's saying Gino's going to win this thing. Um, I, I got I to actually get, you know, the couple people that's in here right now. Got to get a shout out. So I see Louie in the building. Uh, good to see you. Also, Robbie, big shout out to you for the follow. Uh, Nesto in the building. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, Louie followed us as well, too. Thank you so much. Uh, Nesto saying Bones is going to win this thing. Um. So we're going to get a bunch of people talking about, you know, but from what I heard, Bones is the guy, all right? Bones is the guy. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've been told, all right? But I guess we're about to find out because I did tell them to start the game up and uh, get this thing rolling, and they are about to get started. So without further ado, guys, again, thank you so much for being here on Snipes TV Gaming. Make sure you drop us a follow as we do. We've been doing this for quite some time and it's not going to stop. We're getting ready to start college next month and do a bunch of things for college. And maybe we'll be back for you guys as well too once again, man. And maybe one of you guys that are in here in the chat right now, you might be a part of the big deal. We'll see. But nonetheless, these two guys are about to go for the crown. Who is going to get it today? That is going to be the question. Let's find out right now as Gino and Bones about to kick this thing off. And once again, shout out to everybody rocking with us as this SOTF Super Bowl is underway. And a first and 10 starting here at the 25 yard line. And we're having a little bit of issues with their stream here. Got to see kind of what's going on with that. Uh, give us a moment here. Uh, let me go ahead and get out of that. All right, perfect. Yeah, so we got a little bit of issues here with their stream. It's a little bit jumpy there for a moment. Hopefully he doesn't get too crazy. So first and 10 coming up. And 
as Daniels is getting things started here for the Commanders, the rookie out of LSU. Is getting this thing underway as Austin Eckler will get the tote here and he gets about a two yard gain on the play. So that'll bring it now to a second down. So a second down and eight coming up. Jaden Daniels in the regular season for him, 43 yards and 69 yards, 45 touchdowns, only 23 interceptions for the rookie. Great rookie campaign and obviously able to get to the bowl. So it definitely works out for him as he's going to hit him with the play action this time. And the crosser's not going to be there for him. You kind of see where he wanted to go, but that's going to be incomplete, and that'll bring it out to a third down and eight. So third and eight here at the 27-yard line. Big shout out to WCD Flash as well, too, for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Empty set here for Daniels. As Daniels is back for the pass, a little pump action. Could take off, decides not to, and it's almost picked. And it'll bring it down to a fourth down, so a three and out. We definitely got some jumpiness going on here with the stream. So fourth down and eight here at the 27. And that's almost blocked. But he does get it off here in time. He's going to let this roll back, and it ends up being a fantastic punt. But they're going to call a rough in the kicker, and the commanders will hold on to the football. Wow. I didn't expect that to actually happen, to be quite honest with you. Let's go right back real quick. It actually was a little bit too... I don't know if that was a roughing. But nonetheless, Daniels, he's going to keep it. And he'll get the first down on the play and then some knocked down to the 39-yard line. And a new set of downs. First and 10 coming up here at the 39. Daniels now come up here, two tight ends set under center out the single back. 5.45 remaining here in the first quarter. Going to hand it off here to Eckler. Eckler will take off and gets knocked down, but a five-yard gain on the play will bring it down to a second down. And five. So second down and five coming up. it off here again to Eckler and Eckler will easily get the first down so first and 10 here at the 28 good drive here I form set toss goes to the left side the right side excuse me is Eckler We'll get out and get yet another five-yard game on the play. So it's going to bring it down to a second down and five. So second and five here at the 23-yard line. A little bunch set here to the right side this time. And going to hit him with the play action. A couple crossers tried to step up and ends up only incomplete Daniels only one completed pass so far today one for four that's gonna bring it to a third down at five so third and five here at the 23 Goes down quickly, so obviously now the field goal unit is going to come out and take their points. Good job by the defense. Getting things started here. As the kick is up, and that kick is good. So 
We got a three nothing game. Commanders are able to get downfield after a crazy call. And now the Dolphins, who are heavily favored in this game, getting the football for the first time today. So first and 10 coming up for none other than TT. To a tuggle by Loa. In his regular season for him, 3,985 yards, 34 touchdowns, 11 interceptions in the regular season. So here he goes with his first drive. Now first and 10 coming up here at the 25-yard line. TT going to hand it off here to HN and he'll lose three on the play here. He's going to bring it down to a second down and 13 coming up. Dolphins with the seventh best offense in the lead. These guys averaged about 31 points a game. And a second and 13 coming up. Got to love it when you get the side ads. We're going to keep him pushing nonetless. Second and 13. Hands it off here to Wright this time. And he's going to take off. And there's that speed of Wright as he is on his way. And he'll get knocked down at the 47-yard line. A 31-yard gain on the play. And a first and 10 here at the 47-yard line. Ends up heading to the outside, and once he gets to the outside, that is it for the speed. So 7-3 game.
First and ten coming up. No gain on the play. Actually loses a yard there. It's going to bring it down to a second down. So second and 11 with 43 seconds remaining. As Daniels is back for the pass here, and that's going to be called by Scary Terry, and he'll get knocked down at the 26. And a third and two now coming up here. 30 seconds remaining. Nine-yard gain on the play on his first catch. Had a good game here so far with the clock continuing to tick down. He can just run it out if he wants to. And it looked like for a moment he was going to run it out completely. Still could do it. And he could take his time here. If he doesn't like the call, he could just call it out. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. He's going to let it roll, and that'll do it here for the first quarter. First quarter in the books here in the reboot. The survival of the fittest Super Bowl between Geno and Bones, Commanders and Dolphins here on Snipes TV Gaming. First time here on Snipes TV Gaming. With the big game. As we start the second quarter here, third down and two coming up. So empty set here for Daniels. First time around able to get a field goal out of the deal. So bottom line, long as he can keep up with these high potent Dolphins. He should be all right, but Daniels back. And he is going to get the completion into Eckler. No, he will not. He drops the football. That's going to be a fourth and two. So last time around, we saw a punt. We actually saw a roughing the kicker. And the commanders were able to keep tabs on the ball and ends up getting a field goal. But this time around, let's we'll see what happens here. Fuego in the building. Good to see you, my brother. Appreciate you stopping by rocking with us, man. And showing love to the SOTF League. First and 10 here now at the 42-yard line. So that punt this time doesn't get him a rough in the kicker. First and 10 here at the 42. So first down and 10. We'll split set this time. Waddle on the right side. Hill on the left side, and he's going to hand it off here to Achan. Cuts it inside and only gains about a yard on the play. He'll bring it down to a second down. This is the fourth best defense in the league in the Commanders. Only giving up about 20 points a game. So this is a solid defense. Again, an 11-6 and six record for the Commanders. The bottom line, a very good defense. They were best against the run. So going against... The run here the first time around, it wasn't that successful, but a nice RPO to the outside. Good chip block there by Waddle, and they'll get the first down here at the 43. So first and 10 coming up here at the 43-yard line. Once again, to all the new guys in the building, man, if you get an opportunity and you like what you see here, make sure you drop us a follow. We do this all the time. We put these Super Bowl games on our YouTube page as well. Make sure you follow us at Snipes TV Gaming on YouTube. And we get another first down play here at the 32-yard line now. Two and now three for three and a first and ten. Coming up, he did not have to pass the ball much. That's only three attempts. But he's got all three completions. A first and ten here again. And... Quick pass to the outside there to Achan. Oh, Achan is able to 
Get down to the 22. I thought he might have had the first, but inches short. The second and inches here at the 22. Five twenty-four remaining. And it off straight up the middle again. This time right is gonna get down his second toe of the day. And that'll be a first and ten here at the eleven. Pretty much in the danger zone here now. Dolphins able to drive downfield again. This is you just tuning in. This is their second time with the football in there. Driving down the field pretty easily against a pretty stout defense. And gonna hand this off here to H and tries to break outside, ends up losing two. And bridging out to a second down and 12. Gonna have a couple weeks to slow down, and then obviously we hit the middle of July. Most of us will be on that college football. And us here at Snipes TV Gaming will definitely be doing commentary on college. We've been getting hit up already about it, so typically we'll have a good month or so off to be able to kind of do some things. And then the beginning of August, we start doing our league shows. And that's going to be wide open there. And that'll be a big first down play. So first and 10 here at the 45-yard line. Commander's moving the football as Sano is able to get the catch. 240 left here in the first half. 
He Honcho in the building. Good to see you, a.k.a. Mike Tomlin <laughs> of the Steelers. Good to see you, brother. Second down and 10 coming up here at the 45-yard line. Coming up to the two-minute warning in this thing. The offense up by seven, 10 to three. Commanders driving right now as they are already past the 50. And in Miami territory. It off again here to Eckler. Eckler just squeezes through and gets down to the 41. And that'll bring it down to a third down and five. 220 left here in the first half as we get ready to hit this two-minute warning. Hey, do me a favor, everybody in the chat right now. Drop a one in the chat. If you are new to Snipes TV game and drop a two in the chat. If you've been here, they're down at five here at the 41-yard line. As Daniels is back, plenty of time, launches it up here, and that's picked off! Campbell with the interception, and the defense of the Dolphins keeping it going. Look at Campbell continuing to go past the 50, down to the 43, and that is a big-time stop here for Bones and the Dolphins. Not the best of throws here. And he just cut underneath it. Great job by Bones in the defense. And good field position here now for the for the Dolphins. Buck 50 remaining. Gets him with the play action here for TT, and he'll get the completion there to Smith. And Smith will get the first and then some down to the 25-yard line. New set of downs. Again, appreciate the honcho. Also, Flash. Robbie, big shout-out to you as well, too. Thank you, guys, for the, the newcomers here. For coming through, guys. Welcome to Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. A minute remaining here in the first half. Fat Man King Savage. Fuego, everybody else, man. Thank y'all so much for continuing to support Snipes TV Gaming with your presence. And the defense right there, and they get a pick. This time, Martin. So it remains just a seven-point ball game. It was looking kind of gloomy for a moment. But then TT makes this throw. And the defense caps off. Great job. Lethal Madera, thank you so much for the follow here on Snipes TV Game. Appreciate your viewership as well. Welcome to Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. 40 seconds remaining here at the 24. Daniel's going to take off, and he gets hit out of bounds for about a five-yard gain on the play. Second down at five coming up. 10-3 ball game. And it has been a great one so far. Daniel's again back. 34 seconds left. Steps up in the pocket. Ends up taking off, and he holds on to the football. And does call the timeout, and that'll be a first and 10 here now at the 36-yard line. Appreciate that, Lethal. Thank you so much. Thirty-one seconds remaining. Little pump action. And little comeback route. It's gonna be caught. He'll step out of bounds at the 47. Again, with one timeout remaining. That's a smart play to McCaffrey. And a first and ten coming up here as the commanders trying to answer back. Remember, these guys played back in week 13 with the Dolphins getting the big win. And a first and 10 here now at the 47-yard line. And he's back, and he'll take off again. Brooks tried to step up. He tried to lay the pipe on him. Pause, and that'll be a first and 10. Big play right there as he is now at the 28-yard line with 19 seconds remaining. He's still got a timeout left, and actually we're going to get back to the game 
And they ended up calling their last time out here with 19 seconds remaining. Interesting call there to call a timeout. I guess they didn't like something they called. Empty set here for Daniels. He can't get hit in bounds. If he does, it's a wrap. So Daniels back here on first and 10. Rolls out. Not a lot there. Has to throw the football away, and that is smart. Second down to 10 coming up here at the 28. You, you want to walk away with at least three. You don't want to walk away with absolutely nothing. You can't. You can't afford to going against the Dolphins. Second and 10 here at the 28-yard line. Daniels back again, and he's going to take the sack, and he's not going to get anything. And that is going to end this half. That is a bad call there as that ends the first half. Wow. That's just not what you want to do at halftime, folks. You don't want to do that at halftime. Welcome once again to Snipes TV Game, and I am your boy, Snipes. I greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you for the likes, the subs, everything else, all the support here on Snipes TV Gaming. And right now for the first half, I got to say, it's, a, it's somewhat of an even game, but the Dolphins, they're getting a couple... You know, they're showing their defense, and I like what I see right now defensively by the Dolphins. But that last play just now, you can't leave three on the board, and you, and you, you just can't do that. You do that, you're going to end up losing the game. I mean, it's as simple as that. So, look, with that being said, we're going to get ready to start this third quarter. Again, I appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, th this game is still up in the air, folks. This is, this is still a game that is up in the air. We can't sit here and act like, this game is over with. It definitely is not yet. So here we go. First and 10 here at the 25 as we start the third quarter. And two are going to hand it off to HN and a good stop there for loss of two by this defense. Second down coming up and 12. Is this the last season for Madden 24 and you got guys going into Madden 25 or are you guys doing another season? I'm curious. Second and 12 here at the 23-yard line. Play action to A-Chan. A-Chan, he's going to give it to him here, and that is going to be another tackle for no gain. Third down and 12 coming up. Ernesto says one more season. Very nice. So third down and 12 here at the 23. There's very few leagues that go, go Madden to Madden. And that is going to be caught by Waddle. And he'll get the first down on the play. First and 10 coming up. It, he had a little time for that ball to get to him because he got hit in the process. But he put it right where it needed to be for Jalen Waddle. So first and 10 here at the 49. Hands it off here to right, and right will go down for a five-yard game, brings it to a second down at five. <laughs> My bad, bro. My bad. You know what's funny? The way you got your name in the chat, the way you got your name in the chat, though, Sir Nesto, you can you can tell your name is Ernesto. Well, that, that's why I, that's why I called it that. So you did a great job in in, in, in giving yourself a solid uh, a solid tag. But I'll I'll make sure for now on though I call you Sir Nesto. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by though, brother man. Thank you for the support, man. <laughs> First and ten at the thirty six yard line. Four fifty one remaining here in the third quarter. This time right in the backfield. And let's see if he just swings it right to him. 
and decides not to throws it the other way and that should have been a pick oh he's got to be one to just he's got to want to punch the defense right now that i mean the ball is given right to him he gave it right to him how do you drop that football that's a pick six guaranteed pick six right there second and ten here at the 36 yard line and to a back flat play going to be caught by HN and he uses that speed and it's hard to beat that speed it's going to be a first and ten now here at the 24 yard line man just situations like that when you go back and you take a look at stuff like that there those are killers those are killers right there second down and nine Tool back for the pass here, launches it, and that's going to be incomplete. So a third down and nine now coming up here at the 23-yard line. Off here to right, and right will go down and bring it to a fourth down and ten. Big shot, my man Nightmare in the building. Look at Nightmare coming through with the with the two is in the building. And kick is up, and it'll be a 13 to 3 lead. So a 10-point game now. Once again, great job by the defense just holding it down after the lone touchdown in the game by Miami. First and 10 coming up here at the 25 yard line. Daniels back and he's gonna launch this up here and that's way off. So incomplete pass, they'll bring it down to a second and 10. back and that's going to be called by McCaffrey and he'll get the first at the 37 yard line so a new set of downs first and 10 coming up here at the 37 yard line stays in the empty bunch to the right side right side of hash marks here for Daniels has it's a good protection steps up launches that up and that is gonna be incomplete That'll bring it down to a second down and 10. So second and 10 here at the 37. Clock was winding down, and he just stays within that pocket. Great job there by Campbell. And getting in there for the breakup. It's going to be a third and ten. Long game of the evening tonight here on Snipes TV Gaming. We will be off tomorrow and Saturday. Tomorrow is your boy Snipes' birthday. Gonna enjoy my time off with the fam and eat my favorite meal. Thank you, Robbie. I appreciate that, brother. Fat man, thank you as well. Appreciate that. Lethal, thank you so much. 
for the early thank you for the early birthday shout outs everyone fourth down and three he's gonna go for it here I understand why you're going for it here I get it but he's got to make it and he's got the crosser caught by Kelsey and Kelsey will get out of bounds at the 35 yard line what a play and what patience by Gino here on this fourth down play he had plenty of blocking that was all about the offensive line just doing their job. And oh boy. First and 10 here at the 35. I do not like seeing those network problems. Gets it to the outside there, and that'll be a three yard gain on the play. Second down and seven coming up. Buck 35 remaining here in the third quarter. Sir Nesto, thank you so much. Also, WCD Flash, thank you as well. And nice little cut right there by Eckler. What a run! Austin Eckler with a TTC to the crib for the touchdown. touchdown. Looking like a younger Barry Sanders on that particular run. And he's made this game a lot closer. Austin Eckler with the little stop and takes off. <laughs> what a play by Gino. Definitely the play of the game already. And we got a three-point ball game now. First and 10 here at the 19. We definitely got a ball game brewing up here in the SOTF League. Commanders and Dolphins. They definitely got a banger brewing right now. First and 10 here at the 19. Two are back for the pass. And he could quickly get it up there, and that's going to be called by Waddle. He's got a couple big catches here today. And a new set of downs up to a buck 45 passing today for Tua. And a first and 10 here to 42. Under a minute remaining here in the third quarter. And that, oh my goodness, that, that's another one. I mean, guys, that's another one. I mean, I don't know how many of these he's going to get today, but my goodness, that is another pick. It should have been an interception. That's two drop picks. That's two picks that's right there in his face. And he could kind of go back and look at that and say, wow. So we're getting ready to end this third quarter. And that'll do it here for the third quarter. Showtime and go time here in the fourth, folks. And an excellent ball game here as we're getting ready to crown a champion. Who is it going to be? It's only a three-point game now as we hit the fourth. Third down and eight coming up. An important defensive stance here for Gino. Big shout out to James for the following on Snipes TV Gaming. Appreciate your viewership. Welcome to Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. And the defense and is right there. They miss it. And a first and 10. I thought he played that to perfection. Wow. Just barely. Three yard. Loss on the pl on the last play brings it to a second and thirteen now. Two are back and that's going to be caught by Waddle and he gets knocked down. It's about a twelve yard gain. A third down and one now coming up. So once again, look. If he's able to get a stop here on third down and force him 
to kick another field goal. I mean, that's just a testament to Geno's defense today. He has played great defensively today. He really has. And this time around, he will. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to get the stop. He had the first down. And it's a fourth and two. And right now, Bones is livid. So he is going for it here on fourth down. Got to watch the quick comebacker. And that's picked off. So Gino gets a tremendous pick on defense. And a huge stop. He didn't even hold him to three. He got zero. And I personally feel that particular play there, that was an emotional decision there for Bones. And I think in reality, after losing the yard, he should have kicked the field goal. But nonetheless, the commanders go back to work as Kelsey will get a nine-yard gain on the pass and a second and one coming up. And it is starting to get real now. Second down and one coming up. And that'll be a first and 10 now here at the 19. Four thirty remaining. And launches this up. Look at that. That's gonna be caught down at a thirty two and a first and ten. The commanders are on one right now, and they are looking marvelous. First and 10 here at the 32-yard line. As Gino continues to move this ball, another first down play. Very surprised he came out in a no huddle, but a good play call as he is going to get another first. Breaks the tackle, a couple tackles, and knock down at the five. Wow, what a game. What a game. Three minutes left. Daniel's back. And he needs to definitely be careful. He should throw it away, and he just gets it off. Second and goal here at the five. Eckler with the carry here, and that'll bring it down to a third down and goal. Fat man, absolutely, I agree. A couple big things happened. The Commanders come back and now take a four-point lead. A patient play here. Had a couple curls just staying in the midst of the end zone and a great job by Gino. And Quez Watkins, the speedster, is going to get knocked out to 21-yard line. 219 left. So here's the thing, bottom line, he needs a touchdown. There's no field goal is going to cut it here for Bones. I know some people in the beginning of this game picked Bones to win this game. Bones is a defended champion. RPO to the outside. 
Hill's going to get the catch here, and he gets about six on the play. Bridges to a second down to four. So get ready to hit two minutes left. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell another friend. We are back at it here for two minutes left in this Super Bowl. Big shout out to the X family in the building, the Facebook family in the building. Appreciate you guys tuning in as well. Second down and four coming up here at the 28. And to a back. And great job in just taking his time. He was very poised on that play. And that'll be a first and 10 now here at the 46. Comes right back out and knocks a couple seconds off the clock. Tool with the handoff here to H. And it breaks to the outside. And he'll get the first down. Knocked out the 30-yard line. First and 10 coming up. So Tool will hand it off again to A-Chan. And there he goes. Good solid block. And Devon Achan, he's going to get tackled down a first and goal. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I do that. I mean, if he scores here, I can't say nothing. But, man, based on what happened on the last drive, third down, not getting that first down, that, that, that first down play, and then throwing the pick on fourth down, not a fan. But, nonetheless, if he scores here, it's all for naught. And it is definitely not all for naught yet. Wow. I caught myself. Second down to goal with a buck 14 left. Again, he has gotten a stop before in this game. This is four down territory here for the Dolphins to try to crown himself a champion. Second and goal. Stretch to the left side. Nobody is there. And Devon Achan is able to punch in a big time touchdown. 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 So, Bones back on top. Big play here, but now Gino, all he needs is a field goal to at least tie the game up. We've seen ice in Gino's veins on the last drive. As my man Fat Man said in the chat. Well, we see it again here with 111 left and one timeout remaining. Definitely way more pressure now for the Commanders. Is Bones going to walk away a champion? Or is Gino going to shut that up today? He's going to start it off lovely here with Eckler getting out of bounds for an eight-yard gain. Stops the clock at 106. Second down and two coming up. His third catch of the game. Clock stays at 106. Daniels again back. And he's going to launch this up into double coverage. And that is incomplete. And I'll bring it out to a third down and two. That was a dangerous pass. Third down and two. Hit the 33 yard line. This time an empty set. It's going to be four down territory here for the commanders. Needs to at least get the first down. He's got to play it. And he will get the first. Wow, that was a tough throw. Tough throw, tough catch. He gets the first down. Comes right back out. 40 seconds left. He's not going to call a timeout or spike it just yet. 36 seconds left. Clock continuing to run. Daniels back for the pass. Good protection. Steps up in the pocket. Takes off. And he's going. Still going. And is he able to get out of bounds? He is at the 35. That will put him in field goal range. The Iceman cometh once again. As Gino gets himself in field goal range using Daniels' legs. And here comes Daniels again. No pump action. And he is going to launch this up, and that is going to be broken up and incomplete. And it'll bring it out to a second down and 10 with 20, 
two seconds left. Jalen Ramsey on the breakup on that one. Ramsey right now lit up like a Christmas tree. You want to watch where you're throwing at. As far as that right side of the field. Daniels again back. Steps up and takes off again. And he has a timeout here. And he's going to have to use it. He's going to have to use it to call his field goal unit to come out. And we might be going to overtime here in this bowl, folks. Here we go. And here comes the ice. Four seconds left. An opportunity to go to overtime against Bones. Can Gino get it done? Here we go. Kick is up. And that is going straight through. No problem as we go to overtime, folks. What a game. 20 to 20 as we head to OT. <laughs> what a finish in this ball game. Gino and Bones are giving us an instant classic here in this survival of the fittest Super Bowl. So again, for the guys that may not know or may be living under a football rock for a long period of time, this is how the overtime works, basically. The commanders are going to get the football first. If they score a touchdown, the Dolphins will have an opportunity to score said touchdown. If the commanders kick a field goal here and the Dolphins still get a shot, they have to do at least a field goal. If they get a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, we go to sudden death where the first score wins the ball game. If we see an interception here and Bones gets the football, all he needs is a field goal and the game is a wrap. So if you don't know about overtime, now you know. Second down and eight here at the 27. And Daniels hits him with the play action. Flats open. Decides not to throw it. He's thrown it the other way, though. And scary Terry McLaurin running to the crib like his name was search warrant. TTC to the crib for the touchdown. 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 Gino with an incredible play call. And he is now, to oh my goodness, no he didn't. He missed the extra point. Oh my goodness. Now the touchdown's great. The touchdown is great. But the bottom line now, I mean, this is the Teddy right here. Great play action call. And he sealed it, but he missed the extra point. And now the ball is in Bones' hands here. He's got to score a touchdown. But the extra point that he gets will win the Super Bowl for him. That's going to be incomplete. Second down and 10. If he's able to get a touchdown, all he needs is the extra point, And the Dolphins win the Super Bowl. Wow. Second and 10 here at the 19. Two are going to hand it off here to HN, and he won't go anywhere. Third down and 10, no game whatsoever. He's down to two plays. Third down and 10 here at the 19. <laughs> what a game. What a finish. Good first time around here. For the SOTF League, and we get another first down here at the 35. Good third down call. 15 for 21 here for TT. First and 10 now at the 35-yard line.
A-Chan is going to move to the outside, and he's on his way. Still going. And finally gets tackled down for a six-yard gain on the play. Second down and four. Everything that Bones does here, it is four down territory. Gets it here to right this time, and he won't go anywhere. So a third down and four. Palms got to be sweaty right now for both Geno and Bones, especially with Geno because although he's got the lead, he missed the extra point. He knows that hurts. He's going to hit him with the play action. Crosses right there wide open for Watkins. Watkins will get the first down, steps out of bounds. And Jerzon Newton is injured on the play there for the Commanders, part of that defensive line. It's a first and 10 here at the 39-yard line. Tua will get it here to A-Chan, and look at A-Chan straight up the middle, and oh my goodness, I didn't think he was going to get caught. That puts him over 100 yards rushing with Devon A-Chan, and it's going to be a first and 10 here at the 19, officially in the red zone. Again, a touchdown ties the game. Extra point for the Dolphins, and they win the ball. They have to do everything in their power. Newton is out for the game for the Commanders. Broken ribs. Pick the right time to break his rib. He is out for the rest of this game. 4-5 remaining here in overtime. Hands it off here. HN goes down quick. No game whatsoever. A second and 10. Defense for the Commanders have not gotten a lot of pressure today at all. This is the time where they need it. Oh, that drag right there. That's going to be caught. Big hit on the play, though. That'll bring it out to a third down and two. So third and two here at the 11. I form set two tight ends. And stretch play to the outside. And HM will get the first down on the play with three minutes left in this ball game. Man, oh man. Gino's got to be sick right now. But again, if he can get a defensive stop, he don't have to worry about it. But the stretch goes to the outside. A solid block, and there goes A-Chan, punching in a big-time Bones touchdown. touchdown. Well, all he needs is the extra point, and Bones will be a champion. And here it is. And that's going straight through, and the Dolphins get it done. Congratulations to Bones. What a finish. 27 to 26, the final count in this ball game. Bones officially is your FOTF champions. What a finish in this ball game. And it came down to a missed extra point. Wow. So crazy that a missed extra point did it. That was so wild, guys. A missed extra point did it. A missed extra point. That did it. TT, Tua, getting it done. Congratulations to Tua and the crew. They finished the job today. They finished the job. They got it done. And they got it done by one point. Bones. Officially, your yeah, SOTF champions here in the survival of the fittest league. And the final count, 27 to 26 in a banger of a ball game. Man, that was just 
utterly crazy. Wow. That was crazy. That was a crazy finish. Crazy finish. Matter of fact, let's try something here real quick. Let me try something real quick because I got a little time. So let me try something real quick. Hold on one second. One second, guys. All right, so look. Let me give a quick phone call to the champion and Bones Kruger. We're going to give him a call here real quick and see. Uh, matter of fact, I got to get my stuff right and make sure that he can hear me loud and clear because uh, I don't have my mic working. I'm tripping right now. I need to make sure stuff is correct on my end as well. So let me do that right now. One second here. Uh, where are we at? Let me make sure I'm good. Let me make sure I'm good here because he's got to be able to hear me. Uh, We're going to give him a call here real quick and see. Uh, uh, matter of fact, turn, turn, turn me down, brother. Turn me down. Turn me down. Appreciate Appreciate you, brother. Uh, All right. Bones. Appreciate you. What's up, Get man? Back. Nothing, man. I'm, I'm a goddamn palm sweating guy. Uh, <laughs> I had to clutch that one up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bones, you had to clutch that up, man. Definitely, man. So, let me ask you a question real quick. But before the before yes, we get on out of here, man. So you basically, I mean, I mean, first and foremost, that game was wild. What were you thinking in overtime when he missed the extra point? I know the t- the touchdown happened. It is what it is. It was a great play call. But when he missed the extra point, what was your thoughts there? My thoughts was he can't stop my offense. All the stops was bad uh reads on my behalf so let me just strip the game plan down we're gonna run the ball we're gonna we're gonna score and we're gonna walk out of here and that's exactly what we did man well you 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 definitely did it man you definitely did it but listen but listen all right so in the beginning in the beginning of this game and i don't know if you heard it or not but in the beginning of the game you know i asked everybody in the chat uh, Cause I don't know everybody in this league and, and, and all the players and everything. I'm sure I'm going to get to know them now. You know what I mean? But uh, my question to my, my question, to everybody was, you know, who I thought was going to win the game. Most, mostly everybody with the exception, maybe one or two people, uh, you know, picked you to win the game. Okay. So you are now officially a back-to-back champion. Am I not mistaken? Actually, this would be like my third Super Bowl in between the two leagues we run. But yes, this is back-to-back. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, 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 in in the beginning of this game, I, did, did you did you initially come in thinking that you were just gonna just blow this game out of the water, or did you know no, for a fact that Gino was gonna come in here, despite an eleven and six record, is gonna come in here and definitely give you a game the way he did today? Yeah, because uh, in the beginning, well, in the end of our last game he figured out how to stop me because he, and he started putting up points. And I was like, if I play him again in the Super Bowl, he gonna have an answer for everything I do, but I just have to have a, another answer for him having an answer for me. So every county he had, I had another counter for. Gotcha, gotcha. Man, well, well look, I, I'll tell you what. So, so you guys have uh, an, another, another season coming up, right? Yes, sir. The last season is about to start now okay so um so before we get out of here because you are you are one of the commissioners as well too so again i gotta say again congratulations for winning this championship game i appreciate you guys also having me here uh as well uh you know to to do this call for you guys now uh i I, so real quick i need you uh to let everybody know that's in the chat right now that's a part of the league Exactly. Uh, if you have the information already, exactly what is going down with the off season, so that way nobody can tell you you didn't say anything. Well, off season to start tonight. Um, it'll be a twenty four hour period, and we hopefully we look to draft Sunday, and hopefully we can start the league between Monday to Tuesday. In between that time frame, we can get this right back on rolling, so we can get one more out the way before NCAA come out. Because once NCAA come out. It's going to stop all the mad momentum. <laughs> exactly. You ain't never lie there, man. There's going to be a, there's a lot of leagues, man, that I know of 
that they just played their last season and they're like you know what we're gonna take a hiatus and chill for a bit because when college comes out they just want to be guns blazing in for college because the crazy thing this year and i don't know most guys already know about it because they probably pre-ordered the game is that college drops on the 16th of july and then madden drops the 16th of august exactly 30 days after college comes out so it's going to be just a jam-packed at least two months full of nothing but football 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 it's going to be crazy it's going to be crazy. And we get to start a little earlier this year because of the fact that a football game finally comes back out in July. You know what I mean? So it's going to, it's, it's going to be crazy. So with that, all right. So with that being said, man, look, Bones, you played a fantastic game here today. You had a couple instances where I didn't think you was, I didn't know if you was going to pull it off, man, because the commanders and Gino, again, big shout out to Gino. He, he played a lights out game, man. He answered just like you said, the same. Any time that you had something going, he came right back and he and he conquered it and answered the call back. And I thought at one point it was going to be a blowout, but then once he just kept, I saw the fight in in the Commanders, and man, he took you to OT. I didn't think it was going to OT. I really did. I did not think it was going to happen. I did not think I, uh, I, it was going to happen. I knew it was going to OT when I it was I believe fourth and two, and I went for it and started taking the field goal. Want some John Harbaugh? I should have yeah. taken points, but <laughs> nonetheless, I still got the victory. So yeah. I can't complain. About it. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. And you know what's funny is I said right after that third down play, you initially had the first down, but you know, you know, I, I like to call the, uh, I, I like to call it the, uh, the, the, the motion monster in Madden, where like you, you're actually getting, you got the first down, and then that momentum just kicked you back, and then you ended up losing a yard. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, I felt like at that point, and that's that's the last question I'm going to ask you here. It, with that particular play, right, when that happened, when you went for it on fourth down, was that a frustration? I'm going for it on fourth down because I had the first? Actually, no, it wasn't. Cause, um, okay. Okay. I, I actually had Tyreek wide open. If I had a low, uh, low point at the ball, it's a completion and it's a first down. But me rushing it, I, I just threw a regular even though I should have just took the field goal mm. but it was it was me logically thinking like I can get the first and keep my momentum going but I gave him all the momentum when that happened well nonetheless man you got the victory man you are uh, uh, again a back to back uh, SOTF champion man congratulations to you Bones excellent game man and I hope to be back here again man I hope, I hope everybody oh, oh. enjoyed this after we get off the call, I will be DMing you talking about next season. So <laughs> you'll be back, trust me. All right, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So we'll be D- we'll be DMing in a few minutes and everything. And um, man, again, congratulations, Bones, man, fantastic uh, finish to the season, back to back champion. And uh, we'll see if you could three peat, man, for the final uh, the final uh, season for the, you know for you know for uh, Madden twenty four. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, man. Indeed, man. So congratulations once again to Bones getting it done in this one. A great season ended. You guys are getting ready to go to your off-season stuff. Don't forget, everybody, uh, that your your off-season stuff is starting. He's trying to do the the, the draft and everything on Sunday. Um, I, I should have mentioned to him before I even hung up the phone, uh, but I'm sure he'll probably hear this or we'll talk about it in the DM. But I forgot Father's Day is a Sunday as well, too. So you may want to kind of keep that in mind as well. Uh, you know, being, you know, running the league and everything that a lot of guys might not be available on that particular day. But you just got to kind of figure that, get that figured out and see, you know, each league is different. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what happens, man. But look, guys, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in here on Snipes TV Gaming. I'm about to go get something to eat and enjoy the rest of my night and enjoy my birthday weekend starting uh, tomorrow. I can't wait. With that being said, guys, it's your boy Snipes. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for tuning in. And we will catch you guys in the next one again. Congratulations, Bones. You're back-to-back SOTF champion. We are out of here, guys. Have a fantastic night, everyone. And we are out, y'all. Slide, folks!